Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Friday, February 3rd, 2017. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Oran News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. The U.S. ambassador to our country, Donald Liu, has responded to the statement of the Prosecutor General, Adriatic Lala. The U.S. ambassador replied that he is not afraid of attempts to undermine the process of the judicial reform and that he will not step back. The U.S. ambassador reconfirmed his engagement for the reform and guaranteed that its success in stopping corruption in the judiciary. The United States has made a commitment to the people of Albania that we will monitor every step of the implementation of judicial reform. No attempts to intimidate us or undermine the reform process will deter us from ensuring that it succeeds in preventing political manipulation and judicial corruption. You have our promise, Ambassador Donald Liu. The reaction reads. Democratic Party Chairman Lul Zambasha refused to comment on the unprecedented dispute between the chief prosecutor and the U.S. ambassador, saying that the opposition's only concern is the elections and their standards. In reference to the U.S. Ambassador Donald Liu, the Democratic Party chairman, did say that the internationals are also concerned about the manipulation of elections. There has been an exchange of accusations, which are unclear, but I cannot comment on the accusations. The elections are my only concern. The international factor, diplomats are also alarmed about election manipulation. This is concerning, and we should all rise to defend the free vote, declared the DP chairman, calling on the citizens to join the opposition's protest on February 18th in defense of free and honest elections. The president gathered the National Security Council today to discuss the Clement Balili case. The meeting, which was requested by the assembly speaker, lasted about two hours and included the Minister of Interior, the Minister of Defense, the Chief Prosecutor, the head of the State Informative Service, and the Chairman of the Security Commission. The Prime Minister was unable to attend the meeting as his agenda had him on an official visit to Kosovo. He did, however, request the Vice Prime Minister go in his place. President Nishani did not accept the Prime Minister's argument that his absence was necessary and did not accept the Vice Prime Minister as a substitute. The meeting was held to report, discuss, and make a deep analysis of actions and non-actions the responsible institutions have taken and the resulting failure to arrest Balili, who is accused of international drug trafficking. The Balili case is problematic and complex. It is of high risk not only for the absence of concrete results in the fight against crime, drug trafficking, money laundering, but in having a negative impact on the image of the Albanian state. Also, the partners and international law enforcement agencies have expressed their concern and interest in a rapid solution to this issue. This illustrates the expanse this issue has taken, violating more than just our national security. The meeting was necessary and important because it focused not only on the risk of the narco-trafficking phenomenon, but also on the need for better and more effective coordination between law enforcement institutions. From the beginning, the President of the Republic has articulated that the concern raised over the Clement Belili case is serious, legitimate, and necessary, strongly emphasizing the arrangement of actions between law enforcement agencies. After the Prosecutor General, the Constitutional Court has now reacted to the U.S. Embassy's decision to revoke the visas of some Constitutional Court judges. The chairman of the court sent a request to the U.S. Embassy in Tirana asking for clarification of the visa revocation for Judge Besnik Imerai. In the letter sent to the embassy, the chairman of the court says that the judge had a visa issued by the U.S. Embassy and on January 26th, he received a communication that his visa had been revoked without providing any reason for the action. Two court members responded to hearing the news of visas being revoked for 23 judges and prosecutors. 
Judge Ghani Dizdari told an Aura News journalist that there is no truth in saying the U.S. Embassy revoked his visa as he has not had a visa since 2008. Also, Judge Vittori Tusha said she has not applied for a visa since 2010. In its early statement, the U.S. Embassy did not say the exact number of judges and prosecutors whose visas were revoked, but yesterday the Embassy's statement stated that there were 23 judges and prosecutors whose visas were revoked. Chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration, Mr. Ilir Mehta, held a meeting today with SMI Structures where he compared Albania to a train on the track towards the EU, emphasizing stability through cooperation and reasoning being needed for Albania's integration. Mr. Mehta declared that the SMI is the main locomotive bringing Albania into the European Union, expressing the necessity to have more tranquility instead of conflicts. The Socialist Movement for Integration is the locomotive for Albania's integration, support, sustainable reforms. These will take the country towards European Union membership. Albania needs tranquility, reasoning, debates without conflict. That is why the people want the Socialist Movement for Integration, because they see it as a major force of stability in the country, declared the SMI chairman. Minister of Interior Samir Tahiri was in Duras today where he spoke about the process for registering the population. The minister said that what the citizens want is that state officials who are accountable for the work they do and not just what they say. The process of registering the population is necessary to building the Albania of the next generation. We want an Albania where state officials give account for what they do and not only for what they say. I invite the citizens to declare their current address because if they fail to do so, they will be fined. We are determined to take Albania out of the darkness. The citizens whose names are not on the voting lists will no longer be allowed to vote. We will not accept obstacles in making Albania as it should be, declared the minister, who emphasized that not having a proper address allows criminal gangs to take the citizens' properties. Democratic Party chairman held a meeting with Italian entrepreneurs to whom he presented his party's economic platform if he comes into power. Before the representatives of 90 Italian companies, the DP chairman promised that his government will return to the flat rate tax for social insurances, personal contributions, and for enterprises, and promised fiscal easiness and the removal of bureaucracies. DP chairman then explained that he has set a goal for a reduction of public debt by 60%, and according to him, this can be achieved by cutting corrupt investments. Mr. Basha said that his government will invest 150 million euro into the agriculture sector and give subven subventions to farmers. According to the DP chairman, the Democratic Party platform will take the Albanian economy out of crisis it guarantees lower taxes and offers support to honest entrepreneurs. Some Italian senators have offered support to the Democratic Party's program and public support to the Democratic Party. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.